Amuse versus TuneCore. Peace. What's happening, good people? This gift here for Pay Us No Mind, and this is a comparison video. Now, we have links to these companies as well as discounts on other products and services we recommend in the description box. Also, things change fast with these distributors, so for the most up-to-date coverage, check the pinned comment for a link to the post on the Pay Us No Mind website. Now we're gonna be comparing these distributors based on price, percentages, stores, and about 10 other features. But first, a message from my sponsor. This video is sponsored by Mogul, where you can make sure you're collecting all of the royalties you owe and not just the ones you know about. See how much you're earning from every revenue source across your entire catalog. Connect any distributor or royalty collection entity to automatically pull in reports. Conduct your own audits by comparing and contrasting royalties for songs across revenue sources to spot discrepancies and see where money's getting stuck to the gum under the table. Mogul, I use it, so should you. Price, Amuse Boost charges $19.99 per year for unlimited distribution versus TuneCore, which charges $34.99 annually for the breakout plan and $49 annually for the professional plan for unlimited distribution. Now with both distributors, you're required to pay the annual fee to keep your releases in stores. Percentage, both Amuse and TuneCore allow you to keep 100% of your royalties. Stores, you want your music everywhere it can create value, which makes the number and quality of stores important. And TuneCore gets you into far more stores than Amuse. New stores. Now TuneCore will automatically add your new releases to stores if you're on a professional plan. Amuse doesn't have a policy on distribution to new stores. So maybe they do, maybe they don't. They don't specify. Specialty stores. Now when we talking about specialty stores, we're talking about stores like AudioMac, SoundCloud, and Beatport. And when it comes to specialty stores, TuneCore only distributes to one specialty store, and that is Beatport. And it costs about $7.99 per month for distribution to Beatport. And Amuse distributes to AudioMac and SoundCloud, but not Beatport. So Amuse does not distribute to Beatport. Now, audio capabilities. Apple Music now pays 10% more and royalties for songs mixed for spatial audio. So that means you're looking for distributors that accept Dolby Atmos and TuneCore distribute songs mixed in Dolby Atmos. Amuse does not. Content ID. Now when it comes to content ID, TuneCore takes 20% of your content ID revenue, but does not charge any upfront fees and Amuse doesn't charge anything up front, nor do they take a percentage of your content ID revenue. So you get to keep 100% of your content ID revenue with Amuse. Pre-orders. Now, one thing about pre-orders is that they can trigger priority placement in stores due to consolidating sales over a stretch of months into your first week. It's a very effective tool, and you can watch our breakdown on pre-saves versus pre-orders to understand their value. Now, TuneCore gives you pre-orders, and with those pre-orders, you also get instant gratification tracks, which is a tool used to incentivize fans to buy by granting immediate access to an unreleased track off the project. On top of that, TuneCore also allows you to do special pre-order pricing, where you can offer a discount for advanced sales. Amuse does not offer pre-orders. Now note here that TuneCore charges an additional one-time fee of $16.50 for pre-orders, and pre-orders are exclusive to iTunes with TuneCore, so they do not do pre-orders for Amazon. Digital booklets. Now digital booklets are like digital versions of CD fold-out trays and can add extra value to music downloads and iTunes. TuneCore distributes digital booklets and Amuse does not. Note, again, that TuneCore charges an additional one-time fee of $20 to add a digital booklet to a digital download. Showcasing. 
Now, this is having your distributor push through a pitch to stores and streaming platforms for a priority placement and feature placement. TuneCore's professional plan will push through pitches to partners. Amuse does not support this. Primary artists. Having a collaborating artist listed as a featured artist versus a primary impacts the placement of the release within their catalog on Spotify. So releases where an artist is marked as primary get greater visibility and the collaborating artist is granted access to stats because it's considered a joint release. TuneCore allows distribution for a single primary artist and charges a fee of $14.99 annually for each additional primary artist. Amuse allows you to add multiple primary artists as long as the account holder is also listed as a primary artist. Now note here, this is different from having an additional artist on your account, like if you were a label releasing for multiple artists. This is like Kanye West and Jay-Z doing Watch the Throne and having that be considered a joint release. So if you have a collaboration with an artist that is a joint release, you will have to pay an additional fee to TuneCore and with the Muse, you wouldn't. Royalty reports. Now, TuneCore's royalty reports are very, very good. They're detailed reports showing sale date, quantity, country, store, and revenue with the ability to feature within the online dashboard so you can find out pretty much everything you need to know about your royalties within TuneCore's dashboard. And the Muse, their royalty reports are very poor. Basic reports showing total revenue and streaming activity with no ability to filter so you have no idea how much you're making from where. Now, transaction fees, which is the amount you must pay to your payment facilitator, PayPal, whatever, to receive your funds. TuneCore caps transaction fees at 25 cents. So no matter what, you'll never pay more than 25 cents to receive your money. And Amuse caps transaction fees at $1 per transaction. Now, thresholds, Amuse has a threshold of $3 which means you have to earn at least $3 to receive your funds. And TuneCore has a payment threshold of a dollar because if you're withdrawing less than that, it wouldn't even make sense. Now, you can agree to disagree, whatever the case may be. We have links to products and services and discounts on those products and services in the description box. If you want the most up-to-date coverage on these distributors, check the link in the pinned comment. You can hit me up at PayUsNoMind on Instagram, at PayUsNoMind on Twitter, PayUsNoMind at gmail.com. This is GIF signing off, PayUsNoMind. Peace, good people. One.